So you're looking to add some hats to your collection, maybe spice things up a little bit. I'm Brandy Price and I am an award-winning makeup artist and image consultant for television and film. And this is my personal hat collection. If you are looking to find the perfect hat for you, go ahead and take our hat quiz down below. Be sure to share your results. We're gonna go ahead and get started and go through my personal hat collection. Before we get started, I wanna talk a little bit more about types of hats with you and how they can add value to your wardrobe, really elevate things. So today I'm wearing a fedora hat, a traditional fedora hat, adds a little bit of sass and a little bit of spunk, especially if you were looking at maybe, I don't know, adding a hat to your family photos. This is a fedora style. This is actually the new Shiloh that is from GG Pip. I'll have a link below to this specific hat as well. This is a nice soft blush with um, what they call a tan or a nude strap. This is, like I said, it's gonna add a little bit of sass to your wardrobe, but it's also got a classy edge, which is really nice. This is the West style. Um, this is the brown West with a, a nude band. And this is a classic hat. This is one that I go to time and time again in the fall. I wear a lot of printed florals and this really tones it down a little bit, but also brings the outfit together. Um, I have a little bit of a nude flower in this. So this is a hat that I would definitely wear with this jumpsuit. Um, but this is this is stunning. I absolutely love the West. This is the West in gray with a chocolate band. And this is a perfect hat. The perfect hat if you have a really, really neutral wardrobe and you wanna just add a little bit of style to it, not necessarily having a large brim, but this color is great. It goes from gray to taupe, especially when it's accompanied with a chocolate band. So it can look great with neutrals that are warm and neutrals that are cool, especially for photos. This is the Billy. This is a tall crown. You see how this is much taller than the one that I just had on. This is more of a statement hat. And this is just a really nice profile. It gives you a, um, a decent coverage, but also just a big statement. I absolutely love to wear this with white jeans and a black turtleneck um, going into the fall. You do wanna make sure though, if you're picking a larger crown, um, that you are okay with the length of your face shape with that. So sometimes I know I have clients that have a little bit of a longer face shape that they don't prefer the billy just because it gives them a little bit extra length. So that's something to be cognizant of. If you are insecure in that area, the billy might not be the best hat for you, but it is still a great statement hat for most people. This is the Emma style by GG Pip, and this is a nice tan, kind of a little bit more towards of a sable color. This goes with literally anything. Um, I have worn this hat almost out. I, it should be worn out, but it's not. It's a really good quality hat. Okay, this is called the Wythe, and this is a Wythe with feather detail, and I'll show you that in just a second when I turn, but this is actually available through Free People. One of the things that you'll notice about the hats at Free People, they are generally sized a little bit more generously um, than other hat companies. I'm not sure exactly why that is. They do have a little tie in the back, so you can cinch those in, which is really nice. Um, this one I had to cinch in all the way when I was wearing it last year, but I wanna show you the fun detailing on the back. This is why I love this hat so much. All of those fun feathers adds a little bit of a flair, uh, especially when you wear it halo style and you've got those feathers just hanging back there uh, with the rest of your hair. It really just adds something that nobody sees coming. Okay, I'm going through all of these hats. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm pulling them off the wall. So they're leaving little spots and that kind of breaks my heart just a little bit, but then I get to put the hats on and I feel so much better. So this is the Scotty. This is the Scotty, it's a gray flannel hat. I believe that Gigi Pip also has this in black. Um, I like to put the black band on there, but this is something that I like to use um, with a pop of color. If you are, more geared towards wearing a lot of black in your wardrobe. If you choose a gray hat, and especially this is a gray heather, that's really going to add another layer of style to your wardrobe. This is our first of the rancher style. This is just called the Western hat. This is also by Gigi Pip. I love the banding around here, and this is actually stayed in place. So this is nice because it gives you a little bit of a lift, especially if you're looking for a little bit of Western flair. Um, not a traditional rancher, but more of a traditional cowgirl cowboy hat. But this is, uh, this is fun to wear. Quick profile shot of that. I call this my date night hat because it's just like tank top and jeans, boots, and ready to go. 
Okay, this is a rancher hat. This is actually from Brixton, but I want to talk to you a little bit more about traditional rancher hats. Traditional rancher hats typically have the teardrop shape and a pinched edge, which gives it that little bit of a kick of a cowgirl flair. Um, it's a very creatively styled hat. Um, and what I mean by that is this is a statement hat. So you don't really, you could wear all neutrals. You could wear just a white tee and jeans and be perfectly fine with a statement hat. Um, and this can go in with many other areas of your wardrobe as well. This is the Ivory Monroe from Gigi Pip. I've gotten a lot of use out of this one as well. It's warm color. It is not like your traditional white hat. This is more of a subdued white. Like you have white and then you have bright white and then you have kind of a subdued color. And that's what this is. It's not heathered. They do have an oatmeal shade that's really nice that is a heathered. Um, but this has a, a self band that is on here, the Grain ribbon band. It's really, really nice um, with the little detailing on there, but it just gives you a little bit of a Western flair without going overboard. Okay, this is the Monroe in the pink color. Um, this adds a little bit of sass as well. You know, the rancher hats are in the same category as a fedora hat, which is good to note um, just because of the way that the shape is up the front. Not necessarily teardrop shape for the fedora, but ranchers have that, so it's a little bit of an added kick. I do like the profile shot of it as well. It gives you a little bit more of a cowgirl look, um, which I always say that I'm about 50% cowgirl. And this is the last rancher we're going to show you today. This is the Arlo and it is in straw. It is very similar to the lines of the Monroe. Very sturdy but very lightweight hat. Has excellent detailing around the inside of the brim as well, which I find that to be a little extra detail, especially if you're doing photographs because you're going to get a little bit of light reflection on that sort of Swiss dot look on there. That texture is going to add a little bit of extra oomph to a photo. But also I like that it's tipped a little bit right here so when you give the side eye, People know you mean business. This is the gambler hat. This is my only gambler hat, so I don't know if I'm going to be starting a collection of those or not, but this is a good uh, neutral. It is just a nice small hat. So if I'm wearing something that is a little more simple, I usually, you know, I might throw this on. Uh, you can see a lot of pictures of me in this particular hat through some of the 1030s that are going to be up on Pinterest starting in a couple of weeks. Hey, this is the Dahlia. What I love about this Dahlia in gray, this is also from Gigi Pip. But what's nice about this hat is that it has kind of a silvery blue line to it in the gray. So what it does is it makes blue eyes and hazel eyes pop on camera. Can you see that? Just I just love this hat for photos. But this is awesome. Um, so this is the profile of the traditional boater. What's great is that you can wear it either a little bit of a halo tilt or you can wear it traditional and it's comfortable both ways. Both of them make a completely different statement though. This is a little bit more relaxed and open and this is a little bit more um, traditional like we're here to get stuff done. <laughs> I'm here to grocery shop. I'm here to get all of the things that we need. Great everyday hat, but also great for family photos. Also great for on television. I've worn this quite a few times on set. This is the Bray. You can see that this has really, really great detailing in the way that they have weaved the straw. Um, there is also a pink band. This is not a blush band. This is just a straight up pink band and I absolutely love it. It goes with a lot of my wardrobe. I do have the incorporate this color quite a bit. Great style just for daily wear. It's a good size. It has decent sun protection as well as visibility. Just a fun little hat. This is the Cory. This is another boater style hat. This is black and you can see it has tan detailing with the triangles on there. Gives it a little bit of an extra oomph, which I really like. This is one of my favorite hats right now. I've been wearing that a lot. This one a lot this summer. Um, it does have a wider brim. I believe it is still available in a shorter brim, a more of a medium style, but this is great for sun protection. It's also really great to make a statement. This is another boater hat by Gigi Pip. This is the sea breeze style and um, there's great ventilation in this hat. This is just a great traditional summer hat. This shade will go with any outfit. It doesn't really matter what your eye color, or your skin tone is. This is really going to go really, really well with just about anything. So this would be a, a sure bet hat. So if you're looking to add one hat to your collection, it's not a standard hat by any means, but it would standardly go with anything in your wardrobe.
Now this is the Addy by Gigi Pip, and I love the angles of this. It's a really nice wide brim that gives you a lot of sun protection, a lot of coverage, but also it has such great detail here with the frayed edges and then the brown leather band. This, this is a lifeguard hat. This is a great, it has a chin strap on it, which is great if the wind blows. But I absolutely love this hat at the beach. It has the extra sun protection, but it also is just a very crushable hat. Woo, which is really nice. You can actually just, it can go in your beach bag. It really doesn't matter. And it's just going to pop right back up. And it has a little bit of a fedora slash Western flair to it, which is totally my jam. Thank you for coming to visit me today in my hat studio. I hope that this information helped you out with making a decision on which hat is going to be the best fit for your wardrobe. Oh, and I almost forgot. Don't forget to take the hat quiz down below.